Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, it's Jose here, welcoming you to another rant, and here I am going to tell you what the most annoying things going on uh, in booktube at the moment things that really irk me things that really annoy me so it's gonna get it out of my chest number one ridiculous book hauls so you've gone out there and you've bought yourself 50 books to do what to do what to decorate a room because you're not going to be reading 50 books in any reasonable amount of time unless you haven't got a job you haven't got a family and all you do is read books book haul I don't know, normal, decent human sized book haul, four, five, six, maybe seven books. I've seen some ridiculous people, you know, wheelbarrows of books going around there. Hello. Number two, reading records. Oh, I'm gonna read 30 books this month. Oh, I'm gonna read a million books this year. What, you want a medal? You, you, you want us all to give you a trophy at the, at the end? What the fuck? What is that all about? Enjoy the books, read them because you like them. Who are you competing against, you absolute <laughs> Number three, oh my god, this thing really annoys me. Are these super edited videos of people that end up talking and it's so annoying. Just, just, if you're gonna string four words together, if you're gonna string three sentences together, do something else with your life. End of story. I admit that perhaps maybe my next bone to pick my next point of contention is highly personal because of my job because i really dislike working with high pitch squeaky giggling teenager particularly girls but i really hate youtubers with super high pitch squeaky moany voices when they talk like that oh my god and it was just getting me no, no. fuck off science has actually shown that women lower the voices when they are talking to men that they are attracted to it's a thing, it's a scientific fact. Men don't find high pitch squeaky women attractive. We don't, for some reason that is encoded in our genes. So one for the ladies and maybe for the certain type of men. If you've got a YouTube channel, try to keep your voice down low and exciting in a different kind of way, I suppose. I don't Number Five, I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this, I'm not going to name names, but I've seen people recommend books that they have not read. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, you're a loser and you should get out of here. And anyone watching people like that should go and find someone else, someone better to listen to. Why on earth would you recommend a book you have not read? Is that me telling you to go watch a movie I haven't watched? then I might as well go and find people that have actually read that book that can give me an honest review and a recommendation or not. But you, you can get lost. Oh yes, there's a bunch of people out there how, that love to tell other people what to read. Oh, I think you should read more of this author. Oh, I think you should read more of this type of author. Oh, I think you should read more of these type of books. Oh, I think, I think, I think, don't care what you think. Just tell me what books you've been reading. Just tell me what you think about them. Give me the review. Do not tell me what to read. I'm an adult. I'm old enough to know what is it that I want to read. And maybe if I see your book recommendations and you talk in a high praiseworthy manner about a certain book, I may go and pick it up because of your recommendations on a book you've read. But do not tell me what nationalities, races, genders, themes, authors, anything else that I should read or people should read. Keep it simple. I've read this book, really liked it because X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, this, that and the other. Take it away. End of. The other thing I've seen some people going round, they just give positive reviews. Everything is a five star read. Motherfucker, are you the luckiest people person in the world that every book you pick is amazing and incredible? 
because because I, I, don't, I just I do not believe for a single second that everything you read is amazing, amusing, entertaining, engaging, thought-provoking, life-changing, mind-altering. I do not. You must have read some that's what, um, or maybe, maybe, perhaps there's a chance that they just may not review books that they didn't like. But my God, there are some stinking turds out there. I'm sure you've come across them. And finally, this has been part of a learning process. I appreciate that I may be perceived as somewhat hypocritical here, but book tags, I'm off book tags. I've done them in the past, I know. I've even created one in the past, I know. But I've realized they're quite irritating. Very few people do them well, with the exception of my man there. But the problem with tags is, everyone is doing tags. Everyone is doing tags. And you, if you get tagged, I said, you're going to miss them, isn't it? Because you've got to watch everyone's bloody tags in case your name gets dropped at the end and you have to, to do it later what you have to you know, you do or you don't. But there's some chance all they do is tags. And every week, chances are, you're getting three, four, five book tags from different channels. You've got to watch them. And like I said, for the most part, they are inane, asinine, tedious, boring affairs. So, for now... Officially, me, Amazing Worlds, no more book tags this year. From me, you're not going to get that kind of content. And then, two months later, I may be doing one. Promise, I will only ever do book tags if I've got nothing better to say. And chances are, if I haven't got anything better to say than a book tag, I just won't be doing anything at all. Anyway, these are my pet peeves with BookTube. This is things that annoy me, irritate me, and, and I've left one out because, I don't know, I just, I just don't, I don't want to get too personal uh, there. But, but there's a couple more things. Maybe I will do um, Annoying Habits of BookTube Part 2 in the future. But for now, this is all I have to say. It's ridiculously hot and humid here today. Um, I have to go back to work for two weeks at the end of July and then I'll be off on holidays again and hopefully um, I'll bring you some exciting different material in the future. As usual, thank you ever so much to everyone new to the channel that has subscribed recently, uh, to my subscribers, old and new. Please, 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 this thing is still out there. Take loads and loads of care and I'll see you next time. Bye.